What's up guys, Solomon Anthony, welcome back to the Civic Vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. And in today's video, we're bringing the interior of my $900 Civic back to life. Let's go. All right guys, so I've been putting this off for far too long, but I think it's finally time to do a complete detailing overhaul of the interior of my $900 Honda Civic. Now, I have no idea when the last time the interior on this has been cleaned. It is pretty damn dirty. There is lots of ingrained dirt in the seats, in the carpet. There's tons of dust all over the place as well as some pretty deep stains. I've made a detailing video before on the red Honda Civic over there and a lot of people really enjoyed that and thought it was really cool to see the before and after. Uh, but this is something I've never even touched before. So I'm really excited to get my hands on here and really clean it up to make this a better driving experience as well as just make it a cleaner and more sanitary place to be. So the plan is to remove the seats, to remove the center console, the rear seat is already out from another project I was doing, but we're also gonna be cleaning out the entire trunk of the car uh, and deep cleaning everything with a handful of products. Now, over to my right here, I'm going to simplify this as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna be using a camera to scrub the carpet. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna actually do that. What I'm actually gonna be using um, is really simple stuff. So I'm gonna be using some all-purpose cleaner, Green Star right here. I'm gonna be using some Optimum No Rinse. I'm gonna be using um, some Adam's Pumpkin Spice I just had it sitting in my thing and I need to use it, it's getting old. And I have some tire and rubber cleaner that I need to use as well um, with some brushes. So I have a scrub brush for my carpet, I have an interior detailing brush. Um, but those are kind of the accessory things. The real cleaning power is gonna come from these two things right here. So I have my vacuum, my little rigid vac right here. It's gonna be a sucking everything up of course. And then I have my $10 extractor that uh, it's not really an extractor, it's a carpet cleaner that I got at a garage sale, again, for $10. And I wanna try it, see if it actually works. So we're gonna be using this, this, and my trusty steamer here, my McCulloch 1275 that I love so much. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna overcomplicate this, guys. Basically, between the extractor, the vacuum, the steamer, some brushes, and a crap ton of microfiber towels, we should be able to restore this interior back to um, like new of a 20 year old car. So it's gonna be a 100 degree day today. It's gonna to be hot, so I wanna get this done before the heat hits because mixing steam and heat uh, is never fun. It gets very swampy and I don't wanna deal with that. So let's get these seats out. Let's get everything out of the car and get to detail.
So far, we have cleaned out the trunk, removed all the extra crap out of there, kind of gave it a quick vacuum for right now, and then moved our way into the actual interior. So pulled out both seats, pulled out this entire center console area here so we have a good idea. Again, my rear seat was already out from another project, uh, but this gives me a good idea of you know how dirty this actually is. So I got staining here, staining here, staining along here. Um, I'm guessing the kid probably liked to go outdoors a lot, do things like based off all the, uh, the trap in the uh, trunk there, you probably like to go out and shoot and drive this thing in the dirt a lot and probably got in it with mud on his feet and things like that. So um, it is dirty. This carpet is, it's crusty. That's like the best way to describe it. Like you feel it and it is not feel good. So um, this gives me a good idea. The only thing that I'm super pissed about is when I was removing this damn cap here, I bent back my nail on my, uh, on my thumb and it's one of those throbbers that I know is going to kill me later on so uh but that was the only bad thing so far so i can't complain so now from here i need to remove all this extra loose crap here in the interior and then we're going to go through and vacuum everything um the glove box is relatively clean i'll probably knock that out at a later time then once everything is out of here i'm going to fire up the extractor start the steamer i think i'm going to start with the plastics first and the seats back here first uh, and then along with the plastics everywhere else and then move my way down into here that way i'm not having to stand or sit on wet stuff. And then once the carpet's done, we can move on to the seats that I already pulled out um, while this dries. So let's keep going. All right guys, so while the steamer's warming up, I'm gonna start pre-treating some of these areas with a brush and the APC. So I'm using Green Star again, a universal cleaner by Koch Chemi. Um, and I'm using this little brush here from Detail Factory and a microfiber towel. Um, I like to pre-treat this stuff before steam because there's a lot of ingrained dirt that sometimes I might pass over when I'm steaming and I might not see it. So what I like to do for this, load my brush up with cleaner, get it on a setting that's not going to soak everything like that right there. I don't want that. I want like that. So I'm gonna hit all the plastics. I don't care if I get it on the glass. I'm gonna come back through and we are going to begin Bob Rossing this. After that, set her brush down, come back through with her microfiber towel, start cleaning this up. Oh my gosh, it's like a hundred times better. Wow, these were dirty, man. The best way to describe it is that these door panels were looking so dry, like they were like a complete matte finish. I knew they had dirt on them and they feel great. They feel like new again. So go through, wipe everything down. Now, I didn't hit this fabric here. You're probably wondering, why didn't you hit this fabric? It's gonna steam clean that out because this is a delicate fabric and if I really start brushing it hard or start using really strong chemicals, it starts to break it down. It doesn't look right. So, come back through. Oh, there we go, man. You guys can't see it, but a lot of this runoff here is like brown. It's, it's pretty gross. Wipe out these door cards. Should've used a white towel. I would've shown everything. So obviously I'm making myself comfortable here, but uh, this one's particularly bad. It's got a lot of soda spill down here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but it is um, crusty and very, very sticky. So same thing, pre-treat everything. All right, so now for the rear deck lid, rear plastics here. Guys, it's getting freaking hot. It's, I think it's like 90 degrees right now. It's not even, I think 1030 right now, and it's pretty freaking hot out, not gonna lie. I'm sweating pretty bad. So, um, same thing here, pre-treat everything. I don't think that that rear, uh, that rear lid right there has probably been cleaned in its lifetime. It is, it's pretty disgusting. So, I grabbed a bucket of some, some water here to start soaking my brush because it's so, 
so, so bad. Oh, dude. Dude, it is like, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop down these seats here to give us a better view because that's, that's pretty bad. Oh, dude, that's disgusting. I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna dunk this towel and wipe everything out with a damp towel. I think that's gonna be way easier than trying to brush everything because it's just that dirty back there. Just that dirty. <coughs> oh, it's hot back here. It's starting to get steamy, boys. All right, I tell you what, the back seat of a Honda Civic uh, is no place for a guy as tall as me. My head is literally on the roof. All right, so quick update. All of the plastics are all cleaned up. It looks pretty dang good. I, I haven't even cleaned this fabric yet and it looks really, really good. And so I, I knew it was gonna clean up well. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna clean up this well because it, it really, it looks pretty mint to be honest. And so I'm gonna kind of wipe out this area right here, um, clean up whatever is left of this. Hopefully you guys have a good visual here. It's exciting sitting in a completely open car. Uh, I still have to clean up these lower plastics here. And then for this area right here, I don't even think I'm going to use an APC. I'll probably pre-treat it, go through with the uh, steam cleaner, steam everything up to the best of my abilities, wipe everything out. I am probably going to try to steam the vents out, like I like I do. I think it looks I think it looks pretty cool, but I also think it kind of helps clean a lot of the extra stuff out. Um, pedals need to be cleaned underneath there, uh, and then from there I'll be able to get to the carpet, and I can start focusing on the other seats after the carpet's done. Finish out these rear plastics. Finish up this top here. Steamer's good to go. We're good to go. All right guys, so quick update. The plastics are all done. The dash is finished up, steam cleaned the vents, blew everything out with compressed air so there's no resting water in any of these switches or anything like that. Um, they look great. They, they seriously look uh, just as good, if not better, than the red Honda Civic. So I'm really happy with how those turned out. So now that that's done, I revacuumed this area right here because I want to show you um, what I'm going to do for these carpets. These carpets are obviously hammered, right? That's very unsightly looking right there. So what I want to do is I want to pre-treat everything with my APC here. So I kind of bumped up the dilution on here. So now I'm at probably like 15 to one on an APC. So it's definitely a lot stronger. And I'm going to start pre-treating all the stains and pretty much all the carpet for that matter. Because when I come back through with that little $10, uh, <laughs> $10 garage sale extractor, it's going to pull all this stuff out. And so 
I am going to liberally spray the entire carpets down. So getting in there nice and deep like. And I will admit though, while this car didn't really have a lot of smells, right when I started steam cleaning everything, it kind of started activating some smells uh, and it started smelling like a boys locker room in here. I don't know if the smell was coming from me or the car, but regardless, not good. Needed some ax to really balance some things out. So once it starts soaking, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my brush here and I am going to start agitating it to where I can start lifting the fibers, right? I'm not trying to remove all of this dirt because that's what the extractor is gonna do. I'm just trying to kind of agitate it a little bit. So it, oh, that's nasty looking. See that? Pretty gross. So again, kind of go through, agitate the really dirty areas. All right, guys, so here's a look at my $10 uh, garage sale extractor, uh, the finest from Bissell, obviously. Uh, it's called Spotbot Pet. Um, I really don't know much about it other than I use it to clean up like dog messes around the house. So inside here, I just have hot water. That's it. Um, you can see that this is empty. This is the uh, catch tray. So we'll see how dirty this stuff is coming out of here. Uh, I just have hot water in there because I soaked everything down so much with APC. Um, so we're gonna give this thing a rip and see how it does. That's pretty impressive for my garage cell extractor. That looks pretty good. All right, let's try an actual dirty area here. Oh, sick. Oh, that's disgusting. Dude. I'm amazed, seriously. I still have to hit this spot here a little bit more and this spot a little bit more, but that's, I mean, guy, that's pretty pretty damn good considering what it was. So things I've learned from this, um, I may have sprayed too much all-purpose cleaner. This obviously started to foam up. Um, I already ran out of my uh, my liquid here, my hot water, but that was working. It's working fantastic. Like the amount of grime coming out of this is disgusting. So I'm gonna show you this, dude. That's what just came out of that carpet. Sick, dude. Let's go dump this out. That is black. That's brown, but I mean, uh, that's a lot of foam. All right, I wanna supercharge this a little bit. So I'm gonna put just the smallest amount of O&R in there. So you guys have seen me use O&R in like a ton of videos. Basically it's an interior and exterior kind of polymer cleaner. It's meant for exteriors, but you can use it on interiors um, and it just kicks ass and so, what I'm using this is that I think it's going to help keep the suds down because it's kind of like anti, anti foam. Um, I think it'll help clean up a little bit more. So I think what my plan is, is probably hit it one more time, agitate those areas again one more time, go through, and then after that, kind of wipe everything up with a microfiber towel and then go through with the normal vacuum and then just dry extract everything else out. And I think it'll look pretty good. I, I think it's going to look pretty money. I think. So let's get after it. <laughs>
All right, guys, and here is our finished result, and I'm pretty happy with it. I, I think that for the most part, it turned out really good. I think the passenger side particularly turned out good. The driver's side was okay down here by the footwell. Just really difficult because I think that this carpet has kind of lost some of its gray pigment, um, and some of those stains just weren't coming out, and I hit them with pretty much everything I had, and uh, I'm just gonna have to call it good and move on. So pretty happy with how everything else turned out though. So all that's next is now the seats and then the center plastics here that I got to clean up by hand. Uh, the seat should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go into them with steam, uh, the same all-purpose cleaner and microfiber towels and call it good. I think it's gonna look pretty good. So, uh, yep. <laughs> All right guys, so quick update here on the seat. I was hoping for an amazing transformation, but I'm not gonna get that today because the fabric here is is literally worn off. So this is a like a velour right, like fabric, and basically um, you can tell that the fibers are no longer there. I mean, it, it, they're, they're gone. And so it's almost like, the best way to describe it is like, it's almost like they were shaven down, or it just, you know, obviously the person who owned it sat in it so much, wiggled around, farted in them, I have no idea but basically there is nothing left of the fibers. So even cleaning this and steaming it and wiping it down, um, it's still gonna look like this. It'll be a little bit less crusty looking, but it's not gonna go back to the previous, uh, the previous condition, just cause there's no fabric there. So um, kind of crappy. Oh well, is what it is, man. I'm gonna keep cleaning them up the best of my ability. Um, I'll probably knock out the passenger seat off camera because it's, it's, it's easy, I'm just wiping it down. I don't know, I wish I could find a nice, I probably could find a nice set of donor seats in the junkyard. So that's why I don't wanna clean these up too much because I could go to the junkyard here and maybe another day or two and find a better condition seat. A few moments later. All right guys, so all the seats are done at this point. Rear seat turned out awesome, that looks fantastic. Um, this one right here, driver's seat, not really proud of it, but it is what it is. Passenger seat looks great. Same process on all three of the seats here. All right, so from here, I'm gonna put back in the rear seat uh, and then do one more quick vacuum on the main carpet, put my carpet lines in, because it looks so fancy when I do that. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna knock out the plastics and by then, uh, everything should be dry enough to put the front seats back in and uh, call it a wrap. <laughs> There's, there's, this came with the car, man. That's like a, oh, sick. It just literally sticks. Oh, dude, I can't even get that. Oh, sick. Rare cup holder insert. Welcome to my rubber mat cleaning TED talk where today I'm going to uh, show you how to clean some really probably should untangle that hose. Guys, I'm so I'm over this detail today. I'm so hot and miserable. Like this shade is still like 90 degrees. And these mats like aren't even worth saving. I should just go buy new mats for 20 bucks. Adam's tire rubber cleaner. And we're just going to give these a little, little razzle dazzle, a little scrubby scrubby.
All right, guys, so the mats are in, the seats are in, everything is looking fan freaking tastic. Uh, so, one more thing I need to do. So, you saw me clean everything, right? Obviously, I went through with the all purpose cleaner and I went through with the steam, cleaned it all up. Now, there's no protection on the vehicle, right? So, like I said, found this in my cabinet. I have a lot of different protective products, but I want to start blowing through stuff. So I'm going to use the Adams uh, pumpkin spice interior detail. It's got a little bit of UV protection, so uh, it is what it is. But at this point you could dress it with literally whatever you want to dress it with. So I'm just using what I had. So a couple of sprays on here, a couple of sprays on the panel, go through, and this will kind of help bring the plastics back to life. Add a little bit of sheen, but not much, just enough to make it look like they're not all dried out. Oh my gosh, I can see that this whole thing is so dry right now. It is just sucking up this interior detail spray. It is, it's feeling better. It needs more. Man, what a day it has been, but we are finally finished with the interior detail on the $900 Honda Civic, and I couldn't be happier. I mean, I'm probably suffering from a heat stroke right now, but hell, I have a clean car, and what more could you ask for? So, a couple quick things. Off camera, I knocked out the glass. It's not really too exciting to see glass cleaning, but hell, I know some of you are probably curious. Um, and other than that, I didn't have to touch the headliner. Really, everything else is relatively clean on the car. Most of the work went into the carpets, as you guys saw, um, trying to clean up the seats the best I could. Um, but overall, I think that the future owner of this is gonna be ecstatic with the final results on how the interior looks. It is very, very clean. So let's go ahead and roll this out and roll the after shots. guys so that's going to be a wrap for the interior detail hopefully you guys enjoyed the process hopefully you learned something new or maybe just found it entertaining so as always if you guys like this video make sure to give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more civic content i'll catch you guys in the next one Salt anthony peace <laughs>